Good morning, beautiful day here in the lovely resort town of Omaha, Nebraska. I'm actually on my way to the gym today, of course. Um, we're gonna train legs today, and we are on week four of Gamma Bomb by John Meadows. Great program, by the way. Um, so today on the menu, we have seated leg curls, squats, um, Pack squat, drop set of death, leg extension, and uh, another hamstring exercise as well. Uh, if anybody knows John, um, they know that his leg workouts can be brutal. Um, and I don't expect anything less from this one. Uh, so we're gonna go in, we're gonna bang it out and see, uh, see what we could do today. May make some adjustments along the way that I'll explain. Um, but hopefully this will get the, uh, this will get the old legs pumped up with some blood. We get some good muscle breakdown and, uh, we leave and feed it. So, all right, let's get in. All right. Getting warmed up with some, uh, seated leg curls. Um, generally with any mountain dog program, you start off with trying to load up your hamstrings with as much blood as possible. Uh, this is just a warm up, couple warm up sets just to get some blood in there. I think this was around about 50 to 90 pounds for about 20 reps. Uh, the rep execution is, I, I try to keep my feet, um, I try to point my feet in towards each other and pull them back. Uh, that's for more hamstring engagement. Um, as you can see, sometimes it doesn't work out that way, um, but that's, that's something I try to hold on to while I do um, stuff like that. Um, again, we got another warm-up set. I think this was somewhere in the range of around about 100 pounds, for about 15 or so. I'm not really sure. I don't have my uh, book in front of me. But again, try to keep the feet back or try to point your toes back towards you. Get a full range of motion. Um, as you can see, I don't I don't get a full stretch at the top, which I really really should try to do. Um, for the simple fact that you want that muscle nice and elongated to get some more blood in there. Um, this I believe is my first work set. Uh, this is somewhere around about the neighborhood of 130 pounds. Again, trying to point my toes in. Uh, sometimes it's futile. Sometimes it works. One thing I like to do is I like to push myself back in the seat, push my butt back, and uh, just really focus on a good stretch in the hamstrings. Um, I got that from Nick Langer and Ed Koo. Um, and as you can see, I'm just pushing back, pushing back. So this is the uh, drop set of death, uh, at least for the seated hamstring curl. Three drop sets. I believe it was 130 to 110 to 90 to 70 um, so needless to say after um, I got done with this it was a little uh, a little tough to walk a little tough to walk Uh, these right here, they're just warm-ups to warm up my knees, getting ready for squats. Uh, as I've gotten older, um, I find out that it takes a little while for me to get good and ready to train legs, so these kind of help me. Um, no weight goal with these, just literally just to pump some blood in the muscle, get some synovial fluid in the knees going. Um, the one thing I do try to do, I try to get um, 100 to 125 total reps at least on leg extension when I first hit it uh, 
just for me to get more volume, um, which over time will equate to more muscle growth. So that's pretty much the long and short of it. Again, you don't want to push the tissue, at least on this one, in this part of the sequence of exercises. This is just to get warmed up, and as you get older, like warming up is even more imperative than it was uh, when you were younger. All right, so you're about to see a piece of equipment right there. That is uh, the campered squat bar. I call it uh, a motherfucker. Uh, it sucks. <laughs> Long story short of it. Um, so I did a warm-up set that wasn't pictured here with just the bar. Uh, I think that bar weighs somewhere between 65 to 85 pounds. Uh, and it's... it's tougher to control oh well, i wouldn't say tougher to control but it's definitely tougher to use than a straight bar and it really will pound the lower back i think somebody i was talking with in the gym a couple weeks ago said they read an article and found out that the way that the bar positions you will overall help with your deadlift uh so the goal was three sets of 10 with an rpe uh, for the last set of about 10 um, My last set ended up being four which isn't pictured because I just felt something twinge on my last set on My right glute and I just shut it down at that point um, As you can see I'm the quarter squat gang, so I will no longer talk about people that don't squat to death or Don't squat all the way through but really you don't want to be an old fart like me so again this was uh this was the set before where i just got four reps again it was three sets of 10 and uh yeah it's it's a tough bar to control so keep that in mind if you're gonna take this uh beauty for a ride if your gym has it Okay, hack squats on probably one of the best uh, hack squat machines I've ever used and currently in production today by Arsenal Strength. Uh, if you're watching, good job, guys. Uh, so, pyramid and up in weight. Um, again, quarter squat gang, long femurs. Uh, pyramid and up in weight, three sets of 10. Four total work sets because the last work set you do is a drop set. So that was one, that was two. Uh, I did one with uh, a 10 on each side with those two plates. Uh, but this next sequence you are going to see is uh, the fiasco of bullshit. So this was supposed to be a drop set. So do 10 reps and then rack it up take the 25s off do another set set of 10 and then you drop it down even more to a plate do another 10 reps and if you are really sadomasochistic you do 10 partials out the bottom so where this shit got dicey i took the 25s off as you can see moving very slow because i'm an old man as you can see from the gut um Pulled the 25s off, got back under, and yeah, I only got four reps. It sucked, so I should have foam rolled before the workout, but it didn't happen. And there you see the failure that is my hack squat set. See how slow that shit moved up? <laughs> this is my first time like really looking at it. And holy shit, this this was terrible. I was like, no, fuck this. I'm good. <laughs> and 
as with all things John Meadows, let's just throw in another drop set. But we'll only do one set. Um, so this is the drop set of Doom for leg extension. Started off at 170, did three drops. Uh, so one drop, two drops, three drops. All of them 10 reps. Uh, really deep pain in the muscle. In retrospect, I probably should have lightened up and maybe push the reps up a little bit because this did bother my knee a little bit. Um, I have a tendency to shift on one side, so it particularly bothered one knee. Um, but overall, it, it really got deep down in the muscle, gave it a good ache. I'm still feeling it right now. But um, I was supposed to do glute bridges after this, but I didn't feel like pushing my um, pelvis to the ceiling. Uh, make sure you squeeze up as much as possible. Um, again, I am the half rep gang, so look at other videos <laughs> to get good form. So, yeah, that's uh, that was the gist of uh, leg day. Alright, so that concludes today's leg workout. I don't have the strongest leg structure because, you know, injuries, getting old, you know, all that compounds, but still have to work hard on things you're trying to improve, and I'm trying to improve my legs. So a couple of things to remember while you're training your lower body. Try not to half rep. I have a bad habit of doing that shit. I'm really trying to break it. Full range of motion all the way through. Um, when you're doing seated hamstring curls, again, like I mentioned in the commentary, push your butt back a little bit, pull your uh, feet towards you, and then pull it down. Pull the, pull the apparatus down and get a full contraction in the hamstring. And when you're coming up, make sure you get a full stretch. Make sure you get that hamstring nice and elongated. Uh, for squats, definitely always warm up. And if you feel like you're imbalanced on one side, like I feel like I have a big tightness in my glute, my right glute, and I shift a lot, you have to work on that. You gotta do some ROM wads, you gotta do some extra stretching. You may just be super tight. Go get you a deep tissue massage or something like that. And also, don't be afraid if you have a free program, program don't be afraid to switch things up depending upon how you feel. In retrospect, I probably should have did a drop set on belt squats versus hack squats because my back was so wrecked from doing the safety bar. So always have a backup plan if the initial plan calls for a change in the road. So that's it. Hopefully I can do more of these. Hopefully you get some good tips out of it. And uh, we'll keep it moving. Thanks.